Welcome to this training about the engineering and commissioning tool, ABT site. In this training we will cover the topics of installation, initial settings, creating a project, and project-specific settings. It will not cover the different product engineering tasks. For the specific products, you will find other detailed training modules on our MyLearning platform. Download and installation. Please download the ABT site installer. For external access, please refer to our Siemens CO's internet location. Once downloaded, start the installer. The installation requires internet access all the time. Please do not interrupt. For engineering and commissioning of the Siemens Dezigo primary and room automation products and the Dezigo control point devices, please choose the correct products and libraries. Find further information in the ABT installer user guide. Initial first start. Before starting the tool, you may already prepare few directories. For the projects, archives, pack and go and eventually firmware. You may create them during the initial setting as well. Please start now for the first time ABT site. Initial tool settings. Accept the end user license agreement and the tool starts and show first the online help. You may close this window for now. The ABT site tool is started and shows now an almost empty page. On the left side there are two tasks, projects, and settings. We choose the settings first, and in the main window we get three sections. User interface, project and paths, and detailed settings. Set now the user interface according your preferred language and also the predefined UDP port number for your BACnet communication. In the projects and path section, choose now the default project settings to your preferred system units. HQSI, European, or HQUS. As mentioned before, in the project and path you may choose the already defined directories or create them now. The detailed settings are useful for the fast full load of the PXC4 and PXC5. Create a project and project settings. Projects tab. Now we change to the projects tab and add a new project, choose a name for your project and define a password for the administrator account. The password rules are mentioned in the dialog box. Project specific settings. The tool automatically starts in the settings tab and there in the user profiles task. In the section, user, we need to define the users as the administrator is mandatory and the password was already defined, we can choose which predefined users we want to set up in our project. If you do not need all the predefined users, you may delete users with the delete button on the top right corner. Now we set the password for these two users. We can keep the standard settings for the moment. The next section is the definition of the roles. Roles define access settings to monitor and operate the web interface functions. The predefined parameters will meet most of your needs. For more detailed information, please refer to the online help. And the last section are common settings. Here you define additional properties of the behavior for the login and password settings. Now we will have a look on the left tasks again and choose address defaults. You have to fill out these sections according your product and network preconditions. Default settings might be fine for your project. Field bus. The field buses task allow you to define default settings for different field buses and field bus devices. For now it is for use with PXC4 and 5 devices only. Naming defaults. The naming defaults task allows you to define default names and naming rules for objects you create within a project. For example, if you want all hierarchy objects to be rooms, you could specify that each hierarchy object created will start with room. Changing the rules for object names and building elements only affects newly created objects. 
existing objects are not renamed. Therefore, we recommend setting up object naming rules before starting to work on a project. And finally the user designation settings. A user designation is made up of individual structure items which are defined in the user designation settings tab. The localization task allows you to manage language and country-specific settings such as the time zone and the used unit system. The I.O. Assignment Templates task allows you to view and delete I.O. assignments that have been saved in the I.O. Assignment Details pane of a room. The Number Ranges task allows you to define the number ranges for room IDs, central functions and device instance numbers, and provides an overview of the used and defined number ranges. Room IDs and central function numbers must be unique within the BACnet system. The Root Certificates task allows you to import and manage root certificates. If certificates are required, please refer to the additional training module. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.